guess this is simply like the sweater now that's like designated for when I talk about the tortured poets department but hey guys it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and welcome to I woke up this morning for surprise song o'clock as normal as normal it was six o'clock my time when it was expected to come it was about 6 15 this morning when it actually did but I woke up this morning a little early and I was getting just like, you know, updates from the show and Taylor said during champagne problems, we'll talk about that more later about the tortured poets department. And I was frantic. Okay. I was like, well, what the hell? Like what, when else would she have talked about it except like then because it's not out yet. Anyways. So then I became scared. And then Taylor Nation quote tweeted somebody and was like, hey, um, is everybody listening to our chairman? And then I was really scared. So I sat down for surprise song o'clock and Taylor played red and it was great. And I bopped and then Taylor sits down at the piano and she starts talking and I immediately get scared because she talks about how the torture post department was an album that she felt like reminded her of why she does this, why she turns to songwriting and how this album became a lifeline for her. And did it have me nearly in tears at 6.20 a.m.? Yes. Uh-huh. So anyways, you guys know by the title of this, Taylor announced another variant. Taylor announced the variant that has the bolter as the bonus track. The first one has the manuscript. The second one that she announced is the bolter, the freaking bolter. So we got a variant cover and we got a back cover. And let me read you this, this supposed lyric. I'm going to guess it's a lyric. You don't get to tell me about sad now. Oh, like <laughs> I'm going to scream. Oh my God. Um, so the bonus track is the bolter. Now let's talk about the bolter, <sighs> the freaking bolter. That sounds like somebody who doesn't want confrontation when there should be confrontation. That sounds like somebody who, you know, maybe has manipulated somebody and then doesn't want to hear it and bolts. Or maybe it's just somebody who keeps running from a relationship or running from the truth or running from various things that could, I'm like the bolter. <laughs> now listen, I'm sitting here in shock. Like I kind of expected maybe like variants because Taylor loves to, she loves a good variant. Okay. However, there's different tracks on each variant. And I'm digging like the whole like file name situation from the desk of Taylor Swift. Like now every back cover we get, like it's scaring me. Okay. I, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to wait until April 19th, but we're going to have to wait till April 19th. <sighs> so anyways, Taylor, um, starts talking and she said all that and, um, I did film my reaction because I was filming for, I film when I can, my surprise song reaction. So I'll insert my lovely reaction. Um, this new one, like, Torture Poets is, is an album that I think more than any of my albums that I've ever made. Um, I would need it to make it. Like, it was, um, oh. it was really a lifeline for me. Um, Jesus. Just right him, so right and him. It was like, it kind of reminded me of why songwriting is something that like actually gets me through my life. Um, oh my God, Taylor. Oh my God. Oh my God. The full scares the hell out of me. Ah! 
What the? F oh my god! What the? F <laughs> the ball turns. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! So when it kicked in that Taylor had just announced another variant with a bonus track called The Bolter. Oh, and then proceeds to play You're Losing Me. Proceeds to play You're Losing Me. Like, if that is not insanity, I don't know what is. Like, I, my jaw had dropped. Like, I could not believe my, my eardrums. Like, they were so utterly shocked. So then, by the time I finally grasped what had just happened to me at 6.20 a.m., um, Taylor, so I, I go on her site because, oh, also the site was down. And there's a new collector's CD, and there was a new vinyl, and I bought both. Mm -hmm. Now, I did find out, as per asking her store, and they answered me very quickly, it was kind of insane. So, crossing my fingers that maybe the merch store is getting their shit together for uh, TS11. Anyways, um, so, they do not offer free shipping on music pieces. So, um, so I bought the vinyl and I bought the CD for the Bolter edition and, uh, guys, honestly, I just needed to sit down and, like, debrief with you. Um, that is, that is exactly why I'm doing this video. I just, so much happened so quickly with Taylor that I just feel the need to like sit down and like tell you guys my thoughts and like give you updates as they happen and give myself updates like, hey, like we're going insane here. Um, this did happen at 620. Like we are in a state of shock. Like you're losing me took me out in general, but like another variant and the bolter and the and the you can't tell me about sad. The first one having the lyrics, or I'm gonna guess the lyrics. I love you. It's ruining my life. And you expect me to wait two more months, a little over two more months. I'm gonna go insane just waiting. Um. Anyways, the Torture Poets Department um, Collector's Edition with the Bolter track comes with, it's $17.99, and it comes with double jewel case album with collectible front and back cover art, one disc album with collectible disc artwork, 20 collectible um, booklet that includes lyrics and never seen before photos. Then it comes with a bolter patch, a double-sided brass tone department <laughs> bookmark, including TTPD engraved on one side and the bolter on the other. Inside a beige TTPD envelope. I can't wait to see it. I feel like the merchandise is going to be insane for this. Like, insane. Like, I feel like this is just so, like, I feel like they're going to eat. I feel like they're going to eat and I can't wait for the first merch drop. The Bolter Magnet, and there is going to be four collectible photo cards, one side featuring an image of Taylor Swift with excerpts of the Bolter lyrics on the other side of the Bolter emblem. Help. Uh, I'm screaming. I'm screaming. That looks iconic. I am so excited to collect every single one of these. I think it's going to be so much fun to like go through. And the details, the freaking details, like the artifacts. I can't wait to see this in person. And then it says like what's in it. That's just brilliant. I absolutely love to see what Taylor does for every single era in terms of like marketing and she's just so smart. Like her attention to detail is insane. Count how many times I say insane in this video. But anyways, you guys, the Volter is our newest addition to the family for the Tortured Poets Department. And that is insane. I can't wait to hear it. Um, I've never anticipated an album more in my being. I can tell you that. I am on edge, on freaking edge. So I had to just come on here and express my excitement with you guys because it's what I know to do. Mm-hmm. Because when Taylor Swift said, baby, let the games begin, she sure meant it. 
and uh, you know, I'm proud to be a Swifty. I am happy to be a Swifty. I don't know what a sleep schedule is. However, I, my life would be so deprived without Taylor Swift. So it's all good. It is all good, but <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you. I'm so excited about this era. I cannot wait. Like I'm literally tapping my foot, like clapping my hands, just like waiting. I wait patiently has left the building. We don't know her. However, we do love your on your own kid. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way and I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.